everyone I hope you're having a great day today so today I filmed my Aurora tutorial becoming Aurora part of my Disney princess series and it was a lot of fun to film I haven't done a look with a wing for a princess so it was something a little bit different and her look is really specific her eyes her brows her lip everything about her so I'm going to go through all of that with you so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy Alright, so we're going to start this look off with the eyes. I'm going into my Sedona Lace palette and I'm just starting with a cream colored shade to neutralize the lid and take away all the veining and redness that I've got going on and I just used a flat Morphe brush to achieve this. Now going in with a transition shade which you can't really see but it's um, I've used it in a lot of my tutorials and it's just an orangey brown shade and I'm popping this in my crease using my um, Smoky Shadow brush from Sephora or smoky liner brush from Sephora, sorry. And I'm really just making sure that I'm evenly blending this and then blending that out. And the main thing that I'm focusing on is actually winging it out towards my outer corner. I know I haven't done this in a while, but her look actually really widens at the edge of her eye, so making sort of doing that. Then going in with this more brown tone, I'm just deepening the crease with that. Again, really focusing it on my outer corner. I'm really not doing a V in the outer corner. I'm really trying to just keep it in that crease and then blend it upwards once I'm blending. And this is how you achieve her eye shape. And like all eyeshadow looks, I just kept going back with that color until I was happy with the color payoff and how it was blended. And I just kept mixing the transition shade and the brown shade into my crease and then going in and cleaning up my lid shade and then blending that out. And I just kept doing that over and over again until I was really, really happy with how everything looked in the eyes. And then I moved on to eyeliner. So Aurora's eyeliner is actually really fun because she does have those huge wide eyes so you can do a winged look for her. Now it is a very specific wing. It's about a 45 degree angle and it's really sharp and specific and it's not too thick. So really making sure that it's just kept. I ended up switching brushes just to make that wing as perfect as possible but I think I achieved it. Um, I'm going to link down below um, a tutorial that I watched that helped me understand how to do this and she really understood how to get Aurora's eye look so I'm going to link her video down below for you guys but I just went in with the AMC gel liner as usual and these two angled brushes and I just kept working that and then moving on to mascara I used the Smashbox full exposure mascara for this I love this mascara for under false lashes I think it's really great the bristles on this huge brush really help coat all of the lashes and then of course I went in with false lashes after that and these are the Demi Wispies. Um, you could go in with a lash that's a little bit thicker if you wanted to double up the Demi Wispies or something like that because Aurora does have pretty thick lashes but I just love these lashes for any look and of course they thicken on the outer corner to give you that almond eye look. Moving on to the skin, I used the Sonia Kashuk um, Full, full uh, Perfecting Luminous Foundation. Um, all over my skin and then I used the NYX HD concealer under my eyes and on all my blemishes because of course Disney princesses have flawless skin so using that to highlight and of course I'm gonna be highlighting the center of my face this is just to pull the whole look together and be highlighting all of the areas that would normally be highlighted in natural lighting so it is quote-unquote natural um, but it's not natural in the sense that it looks like I'm wearing no makeup it's just natural in that the look looks as though it would if it was your natural skin I hope that makes sense and then just to clean up everything and make sure that I'm not messing up that liner I went in with a pretty defined brush and then I set everything with my Clinique mineral powder and I do like this powder but it is a little too mattifying so I was sure not to use too much of it because she does have nice luminous skin 
Now going into my Anastasia Contour Kit, I'm just setting my under eyes with that banana powder and that's really going to brighten up my under eyes because even though this is Sleeping Beauty, we don't want her to look like she's been not sleeping. She has been sleeping so she wants to look rejuvenated and beautiful. And now going into the contouring section, I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm taking this ashy shade and I'm blending that out and she has very defined features so I'm really making sure to stay as close to my cheek as possible and really get an angular look down on my cheekbones. And then onto blush, I went into my Morphe 9B blush palette and I just took a big fluffy brush and I took this beautiful coral shade. She has a really nice flush to her face and it's a very natural rosy flush, but it does have a hint of coral in it, so that's what I used. And then going into my Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette, I took this white highlighter shade and this was just to add a little bit more highlight to my skin. I didn't want to use a shimmering highlight, I wanted something a little bit more matte, so I took this on a a fluffy this is actually an eyeshadow brush that I had and I just wanted to give a nice luminosity to the skin and then I went ahead and added that right under my brow bone and on my cupid's bow and I also added it to the inner corners of my eyes to really brighten those up and make sure that my eyes are looking as awake as possible then going into the contour kit again, this is how I'm filling in my brows. And Aurora's brows are very, very defined and angular. So I'm really making sure to arch that brow and make that tail as pointed as possible. And I was really using my reference photos of her for this. And I was looking at reference photos of her cartoon character and of girls that portray her in Disney World because that's how you get a really good representation of what the character is supposed to look like. So really making sure that these brows, and especially with the brows and the cheekbones, that they're coming together to give that nice angular look that she has to her face. And then I just took that highlighting shade and I popped that right on top of my brow to lift that even more and give it the illusion that it is as high as possible. Then going in with this black eyeshadow, I just lightly lined my lower lash line and then I went in with my white eyeliner by NYX and I lined my lower waterline to give the illusion that my eyes are big and massive like Aurora's are. Taking my Red NYX lip liner, my Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang lipstick, and this Lid Smoothie by Clinique, that is how I created Aurora's lip color. This Lid Smoothie is crazy. You actually end up creating a cartoon-like effect on your lips. This is a technique that I learned from that tutorial that's going to be linked down below, so definitely check that tutorial out if you want to hear more about it. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, everyone. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know what princesses you want to see. I have a lot that I still need to film, but I hope you're enjoying this series. And if you have another series that you want me to start once this, this, once this is over, let me know and I can start planning that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye!